Hello, welcome back to Factorio C Block. So we're just going to jump right in real quick. So basically what we're doing right now is we need to make alien bacteria because we're going to mix it with the petri dish with growth medium to make inoculated petri dishes, which we need that to make the crystal seeds. So that's what our main focus is right now. So cellulose paste would be right here. We're going to run these Petri dishes down as if they're uh, actually not really going to be on the bus, but as if we're going to pretend like they are. So these Petri dishes are going to be combined with alien bacteria. So alien bacteria we need calcium carbonate. And I'm trying to figure out what's going to be the best way to do this. Because I really don't want to run this for like miles when that's just not even necessary. So what I'm thinking is obviously not doing that. So how do we craft this? Every one second we'll be producing five inoculated if I use this. This is going to produce us three every Let's see, five seconds, two and a half seconds. It's only going to give us three every two and a half. Three every two and a half. So really it may be best. Yeah, it's probably going to be best doing assembly machine mark one. Because I'm not going to jack this up to where I'm trying to get it to every second. So let's just go with an assembling machine mark one. We're going to do two of those. All right, so this is going to input, where does it fall underneath? Right here. So this is going to output three every two and a half seconds. Which three every two and a half <sighs> three every two and a half what is that one and a half every 1.75 seconds oh that may not work well, it may. It may. I mean, this is going to take four seconds. Don't get me wrong. Because we're not going to be burning through them. I mean, if we have to make it faster, we'll make it faster. So after we do the inoculated... Those are going to go on the bus which will go right here, which is fine. That's awesome. I got the robots bringing me still pipes because I needed them. Um, all right, so we got the inoculated. So now we need to make the alien bacteria. Which is the... Hmm. I may do it like this. Well, that kind of does the same, same thing. Hmm.
Okay, let's just look at the alien bacteria. How do I craft that? All right, let's get some landfill. We're gonna need a lot because it is an algae farm. And I'm expanding around here because I don't know exactly how I'm going to get the alien back. No, because alien bacteria is used in a lot of things too, ain't it? Usage. Alien goo, the petri dish, and that would be dumb to do all that for no. So it's used for alien goo, which is used for alienated fertilizer. So yes, it is. Uh, alien bacteria is used, and it does need to go on the bus. Shit. Damn. Well, I guess I'm going to put these on the bus then. Or like it as if they're on the bus. Alright. This needs calcium carbonate. Alien spores. Hydrochloric acid I've already got on the bus. <sighs> Alien spores? What does that take to make? Uh, okay. Um, alien spore. That's it? That's all it is? Alien spores is just polluted fish water in a hydro plant, which I have a Mark III. Man, we're going to need a lot of land for all this. Oh, it's a fluid. Uh, no, not usage, craft. So alien spores is a fluid. Interesting. Interesting. Which alien spores is not needed on the bus. So give me this. I don't know how this is going to work because I've never done this. So bear with me, people. Bear with me. So let's say we connect into here. Or I could just do it like this. Connect into here. Um, this can connect up here. Let's go with one, one, two. There's that. So this is going to produce between 70 to 80. This only needs 50. So even at minimum, we're still good with 20 remainder. All right, and this is going to... But I also got to get calcium carbonate up here. Oh, that's boo-boo. And this just needs polluted artificial fish water. So I'm going to make a blueprint of this so let's look at making calcium carbonate uh, calcium carbonate that would be right here craft so it's red cellulose fiber red algae so I need two Mark threes uh, of these. So give me another one of those. Oh, I don't have one. I hear a worm. Well, while we're waiting, I might as well kill this worm.
All right, well. Well, we killed that worm. And we're still waiting. Look at all them freaking worms. Holy crap. It's a lot of worms for one island. Okay, so are we done? Yes, we got it. No. Red algae is going to be the last thing. No, that's right. That's what I want to do. I want to put... Red algae is going to have two inputs. So let's bump that down. By one. This is going to be input. Thermal water. Can be produced last. So let's back that up for a second. Let's just back it up. No, 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 no. We're good, we're good. So, no, that's not the right button I want to do. Thermal water is produced by lithia salt. Shit. I forgot. It's that whole fucking process up here. Don't I? I think I have a blueprint of it, don't I? Yes, I do. Nope, wrong way. So this is just to produce that. And I forgot how many that's going to produce. I need a hundred every... What is that? Means I need a hundred every thirteen point three three because you can't you can't make red algae and anything else but a mark three. So I need a hundred every thirteen point three three. And I totally forgot how much this setup makes. Oh, where's it at? Oh, that's way at the beginning. I'm not going to go up there. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Um, <sighs> hmm. So, red algae turns into red cellulose fiber, which turns into calcium carbonate. Is that correct? Yes. So, that's really all we need to do. So, we need to make thermal water. Which, I'm going to fix this. Oh, I can't flip it. Because it has that thermal... Alright. Well, let's make this bigger. Thanks for the pipes that I don't need, but I appreciate it. It's the thought that counts. I need to go over a little bit more. Well, on the bright side, I can go over there and get all those fun-loving things. All right, there we go. 
So... <sighs> Having three of these is going to produce 40 red algae. But that's not even... Oh, but I need fucking lithium salt. How did I make lithium salt? From brown algae. This is brown algae into thermal water. This is a crafting speed of one. That's only five thermal water every 10 seconds. That's only 10 every 10 seconds. And I need 100. Holy shit. Um, but that requires a Mark II. I, I guess you're not able to do this until you have... I mean, it sounds like doing this is not really something you can do until you're making the new... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? The new circuits. Like, if you're not producing the new circuits... I mean, you can still do it from 5 thermal water, but that means I need 25... Would that be right? 25 of these? No, not necessarily, because it's... I needed it, what, every 13.33 seconds? Because it's a crafting speed of 1.5. Yeah, 13.33. So, three and one third left over. Hmm. Let me see. Thirteen point three three. All right, let's do the math. One is 13.33 seconds. Well, it needs 100. I need 100 every 13.33 seconds. But I'm producing 5 every 10 seconds. So that means... Let's do the math. So, obviously, no, that's not right. So that means I'm producing 0.5 every second. So, let's times that by 3.33 seconds. I'm producing 1.665 repeat, or whatever. Well, 1.665. So, we'll just say 1.6 every 3.33 seconds. Which means I'm producing 6.66 every 13.33 seconds. What? Which is about right. It's about half that. So... So this produces 6.66 every three seconds. So if I need a hundred in that time, that means I would need 15 of these thermal water bores just to produce that much every 13.33 seconds. But that's going to produce us 40 red algae. Now how much of the calcium carbonate do we need to make this stuff? Because if that's the case, then I may not need a lot at all. So I just need one every... 
What is that? Two seconds? I need one every two seconds? But that's going to create one alien bacteria. We're going to start off with just one. We're going to do just one of all this. I'm going to leave this set up. But this is, well, I don't want to set it up like this because this doesn't make any sense. Because this only produces, well, yeah, no, this is the ratio for, for these to that. So we'll just do one of each. So let me put this back down. I'm going to need another Mark III. And this is to make thermal water. So I may f not flip it, but I may rotate it. Because the thermal water... It's just used to make the red algae. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip this. And then I'm going to scoot it a little bit over. Right there should be fine. I'm going to use my robots for this to help me out. Do I not have an electric furnace? I guess I don't. Okay. Give me one electric furnace, please and thank you. Oh, I forgot it's going to take all of them. Why do you hate me? N never mind, we're just going to ignore that. So, I'm guessing I had it r running like this. That would be fine, because it only needs saline water. Oh, okay, there we go. I was like, why is there an odd number of these? Okay, so after the thermal water, now we can make red algae. So red algae is just thermal water and ammonia gas for those that are just listening and not really watching, which is fine. I want to make sure everybody knows what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is place down my algae... Algae Farm Mark 3, which only needs uh, thermal water and ammonia gas. So let me scoot it over where it kind of lines up. Okay. Um, more than likely this is not going to be enough for that, so I'm not stressing it. Uh, it's going to output. I kind of should do it like this. Hmm. I don't know if I like that either. Because I kind of want these to be on one side. So let's do this. One pipe here. And then one or two pipes away. Now I'm doing this only because... I want to make sure that it's far enough that I can put this right here. Actually, you know what? I could just do this to make it look nicer. Yeah, this don't matter. And then ammonia can connect into here. Oh, shit. Worms are shooting at me. Ugh. 
I hate this, but I'm going to have to fight the worms right now. So I apologize. I know we were trying to get some progress done. Ooh, uh, for some reason my mouse double clicked. Uh, let me just repair these. Thank you, robots. Y'all are so awesome. Okay, that's just going to be bad bad for us. I know I'm wasting a lot of landfill, but I have a lot of landfill in storage that it's not even funny. Jesus. All the worms. Ooh, hello. It's nice having worms that can do your bidding. Not worms. Robots. Sorry, my mind is trying to do five things at once. See, I don't know why it's doing that. I'm one tapping it and it's being aggressive and I don't know why. Ooh, about lost it. It wouldn't let me pick it up. I don't know if it's the update or what on why it was having a hard time letting me pick it up. Sometimes it's because of the autosave. Oh, I thought he was bringing me ammo. I was like, I don't need ammo. I have more than enough. Okay, let me see if I'm going to get shot at by being right here. Just from being here. I mean, so far, no. But I'm not going to risk it for a biscuit. I will kill these worms non-stop. Just die already. Come on. I'm going to kill you too next. Just get ready. There we go. Told you I was going to kill you. Okay. There we go. <sighs> Sorry about that, y'all. So, now we're producing our red algae. We're just using our imagination right now. Uh, it's going to produce 40. It's going to take a while, so let's just... Hmm. I do kind of want them to be outputting pretty f pretty fast when I do produce them. Thank y'all. Uh, 
Uh, how far down can I go before I'm out? Okay, I got a good while to go. I know, y'all are going to try to hit me. But I'm trying to pick all this stuff up. Okay, so red algae's coming out. Now we got to turn it into red cellulose fiber. Which... Can be made into any assembling machine. Which can then be made into a liquefier. That's going to produce five. The fastest we can make it is ten seconds. This is bananas. Can I make a Mark III liquefier? I can Oh, I already have one. I don't need to. Okay, so... This will produce five every six seconds if I use a Mark 1. But if I do a Mark 3, it's going to need... All right, it'll produce five every six, five every four... See... Mark 2s would be great. Crap. Mark 2s would be great for a Mark 4 liquefier. But I, I can't do that. So 10 seconds. Oh, crap. Come on. 10 seconds, 13.33 with a Mark 2. But I have a Mark 3, so it's 10. I'm going to go with an assembling machine Mark II. Yeah, we'll go with the Mark II, because I already have a Mark I. I'm going to put it way down here for right now, because I don't know how it's going to become. But this is going to need... 10 every 4 seconds. So, 3, 6, 9 per second. So, yeah, that'll be fine. Alright, so then those are going to output the cellulose fiber, which is only 5 every 4 seconds, which, this will be more than enough. So now we're going to take that and put it in a liquefier. So let's use more landfill. Then we're going to put the liquefier. Where did it go? Where did it go? And there it is. We'll put the liquefier right here. And it's going to make us the calcium carbonate, if I can find it. There it is. Uh... We'll just do that. Because it needs 20 every however long it is, which I don't really care. Which we may not even need that many. It's 3, so 10 seconds. It needs 20 every 10 seconds. So, 2 per second. Uh, yeah, so really 1 can handle it, but we'll go with 2. And it would probably be better looking to do it this way. This way. Like that. So it's on both sides of the belt. Alright, so there's that. Now we're making calcium carbonate. Let's go to that. So now we take the calcium carbonate alien spores. Are we making the alien spores? Yes, which is way up here. Which what we'll do is... Um, no, we'll just stick with that. Usage. 
alien spores. They're not really used in anything else, but I'm going to put them out here on the bus like they are. So that they're ran down. Which I'll do that in a minute. So now we're producing our calcium carbonate. And it's only one. Is it used for anything else? No. So... That's going to produce five. Uh, yeah. So we'll do the same thing. We'll... Oh, there we go. We'll produce it like that. Uh, okay. I don't know why it's bringing me a red belt, but okay. I didn't think I used any, but whatever. Um... It needs one every two seconds. Yeah, that's right, because alien spores is a fluid. I just remembered alien spores is a fluid, not a solid. Um, where is it? I'm trying to find the my algae farm. Did I use them all? I did. I used them all. Shoot. Uh, usage. Alien spores. That's that. But I need a algae farm mark three to make alien bacteria. So I need one more. And I can't. Oh, I can. I just need to get the clay bricks out of my car. So give me one second. Let me grab my car. N no, robots. See, now you're making me pick up crystal dust that I don't need. See what you're doing to me? Fucking bastards. Try not to cuss. Go away. Go away. Quit, 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 quit fucking my eyes out. Damn. Just need my damn car. Fuck. There we go. Build me one, please. I don't have a lot of steel, because I picked up what all I could get at the time. Damn. Okay, so while we're waiting on the green algae farm, it's going to make our alien bacteria. Which alien spores is going to run down here. We'll have it connect in right up here. Alien spores will come out and replace it where that was running down, which... Oh, sorry. There it is. This is going to make our alien bacteria. Uh, what's coming down here? Oh. Oh, I have it up here. What am I talking about? Why did I make an... I've already got this. Being for where it'll be producing... Wait a second. I would have to get calcium carbonate up here. And that's not going to work. And I did that because I didn't want to run these peter. Di Damn it. Alright. Let me undo all this. Uh, 
uh, stick that in there. I'll fix all this in a minute. Stick that in there. So I want to make a blueprint of all this. Uh, I don't need that. Then I'm going to remove all this, all this. <sighs> Gotta be shitting me. Where's my robots at? Uh, they're right there. All right, let's just move this up for a moment. Um, there. Oh, I did use I use red belt up here. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. So we'll have the green algae farm come down here now. Well, maybe I might move it over a little bit. All right, so that's going to make our alien bacteria. So we'll have it input there because it only needs one calcium carbonate. And plus, the hydrochloric acid can come in from up here. This will come in from the bottom. I need to change this picture out. This needs to be the spores. There we go. And then now I need it to produce it which will come in right here no that would be dumb to do that I could just use an underground belt simple as that and then the polluted artificial fish water can come in right here that's going to produce our sulfuric wastewater, which sucks because that's the last thing I need. But, um. Oh, oh, output for the bacteria. Shit. So let me move this down a little bit more. Damn it. Kind of messed that up. That's my bad. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Yeah, that should be good now. Okay, so now this is going to output the spore, which is only, or that spore, the bacteria. Alright, and then... This is running down here, which this needs to come over. It's going to come down there, so it'll come right here. So the alien bacteria will go down there. I'm so sorry. This is so much going on. Um, this is the Petri dish with growth medium. Uh... No, go back. Wasn't that. Wasn't that. Oh, man. This is such a struggle. Where's it at? That's what I'm looking for. Craft that. 
So now with these Petri dishes, which is going to run all the way down, which sucks, and the alien bacteria, can now be put in an assembling machine. Which one needs what most? Go back. It needs petri dish growth more than anything. And alien bacteria the least. Is alien bacteria used for anything else? It is. It's used in alien goo. So we'll have to put a splitter down. So the growth is needed most. So we'll have that there. Hope I don't get hit. And then that can come in right here. That's what that looks like. And this just needs to come in right here. Obviously, this is not how it's going to look. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. Come on. So, really, it would have been better to... Not really, I guess. Maybe have this all the way up here and all this all the way down here. That's whatever. All right, let's just try to... I'll just do it this way. Fuck you, fucking worms. Sorry, they're sitting here trying to bombard me with their bullshit. But anyway, this is going to make the inoculated Petri dish. Which the splitter can come right here. We can just put an underground belt here. And then that connects in right there. And this needs five Petri dishes every four seconds. So really one inserter would be more than enough to run that. And then this is going to output us how many Petri dishes? Five. So one will be more than enough for an output. Uh, the Petri dishes, are they only used? No, they need to go on the bus. So alien bacteria is fine right here. And then we'll put these on the bus. And then we'll do an underground belt right here. Sounds good. So we've got everything set up to make inoculated Petri dishes. Now off camera, I'm going to connect all this in. So when we come back to the next episode, this should be running. And then the next step is actually using the crystal dust which we have up here which I can go ahead and run down y'all robots gotta keep up I don't have time is there something that's coming yeah there is let me make sure I take my robots and put them in the trash can so they don't sit here and try to run that down so here we go I know y'all are there fuck you I'll kill you off camera so this can come all the way down here Uh, we'll put it about right there. So now we can turn that crystal dust in the inoculated Petri dish 
into crystal seeds. Now is the crystal dust used in other stuff? It is. Uh, this is going to mess with all the... This is basically what we're trying to get at. Is all these splinter bullshit. And then I also want to make alienated fertilizer. So it's going to benefit that too. Which I'm going to have to increase the process of this. And I real, I have to work on the new circuits. Like I got to get those. Copper, silver, and ferric chloride solution I have on the bus. That's not a problem. I need to get fiberglass boards. Uh, fiberglass boards are made from glass. So I need to work on molten glass. So that's probably what we're going to start on in the next episode is working on molten glass. So that we can get these circuits. And the reason why I want to get those circuits is so that I can get the upgraded version of the thermal water boards. Which, if you look at it, it produces 100 thermal water. Uh, what's the crafting speed on it? Was it uh, where's it at? These are one. Damn, what was the other ones? I know I have... I thought I, I'm pretty sure I have the research for it. Is it down in this? Where is it? Where is it? I know it's, it's somewhere in here. I know I made them. Ah, so much. There it is. So they're a crafting speed of. Oh. Less pollution. So. That's bullshit. So the crafting speed's still one. That's such bullshit. So, but nonetheless, we'll be producing 100 thermal water every 5 seconds. Compared to this, where you only make 5 every 10 seconds. So it gives us more for our lithia salt, which is what we need. So, we'll need to work on making the circuits. Really, the only thing I need to make is fiberglass boards. Uh, integrated circuits and that's it fiberglass boards and integrated circuit or electronics I have everything else I have solder I have transistors and I have basic electronic components I have copper silver ferric chloride solution but with integrated circuits I just need to do gilded copper wire. Let me write this down. So, gilded copper wire. We need to get, uh, not phenolic, fiberglass board. Or fibre glass board. And we just need uh, integrated electronics. Oh, no, no, no. Integrated electronics and superior circuit board. So, that's what we'll be working on in the next episode. Sorry, y'all had to sit and sit through me talking about that. Um, uh, let's get rid of that. But anyway, so I hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Thanks for watching.